I'm going to pee. Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. Reginald Aubrey has returned, not to be missed. Buy your tickets now. The God protects, the God serves, the God's men have got iron nerves. Ah! Ow! Oh, this burning, stopping sensation in my ribs. You're not afraid of the blessed I'll beast, be are you? Oh, I'm with you. <laughs> what a mincemeat. <laughs> Slow and... Hey there, I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, Audrin, Audrin. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Nope, just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like Stuart pole cats. Mm, sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here for your trouble. Thanks. Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf, here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarque. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witcher armor of exceptional quality. Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, i rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Toussaint? How is that even possible? Toussaint was once home to Tien Sa'il. A legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. 
And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai inside. So I heard the stories of the missing witches first hand. What he told me... Well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school. Of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Aton. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe, yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Toussaint from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termes. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termes. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa, and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lone, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tiensail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed. The bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. 
Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it. Though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him. A witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sahil saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. What do you have on offer?
Farewell. Good luck on the path. Greetings. I hope. What do you have on offer? Farewell. Good luck on the path. species and the dangers this represents to the national order. Admittance free of charge. Good. Want to live. Snow White, you with Long the exquisite head. Snow White. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown, it's all Perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Don't see why not. Long as it doesn't take long. It shan't. Never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the western gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. You spy! Tell the commander, be spry! <laughs> the serendipity and master witcher what luck to happen upon you got work for me new contract uh, of the contract in question you acquitted yourself beautifully years past on your last sojourn in Beauclair I was in a bit of a bind at the time do you remember yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Gotta stop by that bank. Mm. 
such are the times, my good fella. A fruitful hunt to you, Richard. No safer place than a bank. Cons. Always. Welcome to Gianfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? Got an account here. Like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. I can't help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records. The account holder is dead. That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit 838. For more information, please go to window number one. All right. Where's window number one? Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of Permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. What do you mean, wrong window? I was told I'd get Permit A38 here. Please remain calm, sir, or you'll rupture a vein. So just tell me where I get this stupid document. Perhaps upstairs, in records, or downstairs in the archive. You must ask them, sir. Do just that. No safer place Always. than a bank. <clears throat> Sorry, gotta get through. Hold there. What is this? Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer is always right. How might I help you? This where I get permit A38? Naturally. Just hand me your Form 202, please. Form 202? Just what are you trying to pull? Sir, I'm not pulling anything. Just following procedure. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of Form 202, as stated specifically in Ordinance N60. Please, go to window number one. <sighs> Just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. You cut in front of me, sir! Well, couldn't really give a crap. You boar! You churl! I will not stand for this! Just you wait, I'll teach you some manners! Go on, hit me. Oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Outside, now! I wager ten on the one on the right. I shall teach you the meaning of decency. Poor simpleton, prepare to be conquered. Thank <laughs> you. 
I shall teach you the meaning of decency! Get with yourself and cancel it! She often goes Down. deep in Hawk to put on a show. That little number likely costs more than we make in a month. I truly wonder who she got to lend her that much coin. All in order? Welcome to Chan Fanelli Bank. No safer place than a bank. <laughs> Collins, always... <clears throat> right. So you see, she claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Excuse me. Got something I gotta huh? take care of at window you one. You cannot be serious. I too find it hard to believe. For Excuse me. Can you not see what it says there? We're on our break. Celine, darling, sign this for me, will you? Oh, there you are. Listen, there's something We're on I... break. Ah, you try to be polite, it just never gets through. Got no choice, I guess. Need to wait till they're done with their break. You must wait. They have the break now. So, what do you hope to get here, my friend? Permit A38. Though, guess I need Form 202 as well now. Form 202? Easy peasy. Certificate P. Now, that is a challenge. But, as we are both forced to wait, fancy a round of Gwent. See, you know this place pretty well. Must have taken care of a good amount of business. Oh, naturally, my friend. Naturally. Indeed, I've managed to work the system a time or two. You see, such things require finesse. Subtlety. Otherwise... You're stuck? I have seen them try everything. Magic, hypnosis, bribery. Nothing works. Might as well go if nothing works. There's nothing I can do? Be kind. Be pleasant. This and only this. The woman here, she sits at her window 12 hours each day without hearing so much as a good day from anyone. Muster up some flowers, some perfume. <laughs> well, you will resolve your matter lickety split. <laughs> right, certainly worth a shot. Good luck. Can I help you? Catch the tito. Long live the craves! Three cheers! Oh. Whoa!
A witcher! A serious client at last! Tell me, what do you need? Honeysuckle? Ganesha petals? Show me what you've got in stock. Need to get going. Till next time. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? Need Form 202 to get a copy of Permit A38. Do you know that? Couldn't have told me? Wasted a lot of time because of you. Please, sir. There's no need to lose your temper. I thought it obvious and thus needed no stating. The form will soon be ready. Name and surname? Geralt of Rivia. Let me find it. Get on, Gemel. Here it is. Geralt of Rivia. Sorry, sir. I cannot issue Form 202. Excuse me? The applicant in question has been declared dead. Officially. Now, do tell me, sir. How am I to enter that into the ledger? Got you some flowers. Just to thank you for helping me with my file. Oh, but I... I shouldn't. For me? Really? Match the color of your eyes. Oh. You, sir, are quite the charmer. Ah, please, wait a moment. I shall fetch Master Cinfanelli. Perhaps he'll arrange something that excludes the paperwork. You tell him Danny disturbed, but no, always some bugger who can't stand to wait. Plow me, who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. Been a bit busy, but I'm back now and I need your help with something. Of course. Now do tell, how can I help you? Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins, see, but... No problem there. We'll get you paid up in a jiffy. I'm just gonna need to settle yon tiny wee trifle. Heard that already. Permit A38, among others. Oh, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. Chanfinelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin. Now. Come on, Master Witcher, for why the ire? There's no need. We'll have it all for you. You just need to see the necessary documents. Got a document right here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. Her, her enlightened highness, she's hired you. Mm-hmm. And as her personal emissary, I demand access to my account right now. Uh, uh, aye, Master Witcher. This way. So how's the trade these days, Master Witcher? Yes. Can't complain. Good for you, because in our neck of the woods things are dark, dark shite. Wine sales are stuck in the muck and sinking deeper. It's the fucking wretched names, I tell you. Folk out with the duchy have they any notion how to say coat yes. the bless you are and all that. So. It twists their all tongues in bloody knots. Makes them ashamed to ask for it. Done. Deposit box 256. Last you on the right.
What the hell's this, Chenfinelli? Box is empty. Well, uh, coins got to circulate. So when we learned you were dead, Master, we, uh, circulated yours. Purchased stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was hee-haw left in the box. Really ought to call it what it is. You robbed me, plain and simple. Nay, Master Witcher, never! I wouldn't dare! Oh, you'd dare. And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back, every red copper! I swear it on my Nana's beard! Fooled me once, not about to let you fool me again. Master Geralt, I beg you, keep your heat. We can work this out, I know we can. Rip that coin out of your throat if I have to. Guards, help! What can I do? Come on, come to daddy! Yeah. Scalp the wee shite! I, Marianne, close the account and pay the man his coin. Thank you. Master Witcher, your coin. Just don't go making any mere trouble, all right? This it? Expected a few thousand at least. Well, there's things to account for. Taxes, inflation and so on. The economy's nobody's fault, is it? <sighs> Might have guessed. Ah, and Master Witcher, one more thing. Didn't he come back to my bank ever again? Can do without patrons like you. Out! Now! Oh. Geralt, his crest the bridge, master of the melee. Welcome, welcome. What have you got there?
so long. What have you got there? So long. I pound to steal and watch sparks fly. Claire, all's right and fair. Ah, Chris, say the gods partook of their eyes. Copas. Hey, Master Witcher, will you face Colossus? Oh, now you look to be a man in search of exertion. Hey, Whitelocks, will you dare to fight Colossus? Fine, let's fight. Ah, boring. I'm not interested. Quick I am, too quick for you. It'll be knick-knack, patty-whack, kiss your arm bone. Where's the sport in it? Don't want to fight? Why bother looking for challengers then? Wasting my time. Whoa, a bit testy, are we? A witcher, right? Let's do it like this. You parry three blows I throw your way, you win. But you can't swing at me, not once. Just deflect my blows, got it? Catch three of them and I'll toss you double your wager. Feeling that generous? No, I just know you can't do it. No one's ever done it. Too fast, see? So, willing to try for three blocks? Fine. Dad will have any trouble deflecting a few blows. That I get. At long last, one with a sportsman's soul. Now, listen. The rules say you're not to start your parry until I've cocked my fist. Standing with your guard ups, not allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, witness a most peculiar fight. How shall I say this? 
The Witcher has accepted a colossal challenge. Come on. Look, you old goose. Oh. Too quick for you, huh? Yeah. Incredible! The Witcher has parried Colossus's blows. No one's ever managed that feat. Here's your due. Thanks. Now to face the Maestro, all you've left are rambles with Mancomb and the knight known as Still Waters. Seek out the knight in the heart of Oatville, near Mountebank Alley whereas Mancombe loiters about the docks south of that district. Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. What's going on here? Here's some free advice which... Don't crowd around. If you've no reason to me. <laughs> Beg your pardon? By the Prophet's wings. A witcher. Shall you face off against still waters? Shall you? Shall you? I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Noble lords and virtuous ladies, another fight is soon to begin. Gentlemen, the Witcher defeats the previously invincible Stillwaters, and what about it was? Freed of his vow, the knight can now show his face. Your blows are strong and true. My congratulations. Thanks. Have you naught to add? I'm a woman. No wry remarks? What for? It's the 13th century. Nothing peculiar about it. Women own taverns, run farms, and fight. Will you not claim there was no honor in fighting a wench? No. I'd expect to hear that from someone who was afraid to lose to a woman. Only Mancom remains. You should look for him by the docks south of Oatville. Once you've bested him, you can try your strength against the maestro. Here comes. Oh, <laughs> the North must be a terrible She's always 
showing off their costumes. Yet I hear they bought it all. No point complaining. Another murder by the horrid beast. Milton the Payrak Payran falls victim to his own. Our knights challenge each other for sport. Surely you've techniques. You... Do you wish to jump in? Considering it. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancombe is no ordinary fighter. Fine, let's start. Oh, my knees quake like a carnival rattle. Let's get on with this ridiculous battle. I'm a top taunter, the best around, not one to be beaten by some inbred hound. Your taunts? I've heard dogs wretch things more profound. Hear how pathetic and stupid you sound. Well, how then is this for a clever tongue twister? You're a bum-botching, blackened, bile-filled blister. Think you're confused. That sounds more like your sister. I'm immune to disease, but even I'd die if I kissed her. You aren't worthy to empty my sister's bedpan. You mange-ridden mutant, not even a man! Should have quit before we began. Gonna make you wish you'd turn tail and ran. Why, you... bad... Uh, uh, I've got to admit, you know how to roast a man. You win. Mean we're not gonna fight? Why? I told you, you've won. The Witcher wins, beating Mancombe at his own game. You out-tongued me, but only because I'm under the weather today. I'd have lashed you raw otherwise. Right, sure. <laughs> Thus, you've gained the right to challenge the Maestro. Look for him at the docks, and congratulations. I'm impressed. Thanks. So they call them Maestro? Maestro, champ, the undefeated. Folk call him many things. You are the Witcher who dropped the three lesser champions? I am. Come to fight the Maestro, but seems to me he's indisposed. Alcohol is the Maestro's remedy for his crippling shyness. He's a delicate man, you see? He'd never so much as hit a pillow while sober. Fighting sobers like dancing to silence. Let's go. I challenge you. Hold on. Whoa. I am a man of principle. I keep to a code. I don't tinkle where I eat, and I don't fight folk who don't drink. Meaning? Meaning you're to drink. Or hey, diddle diddle out of here. Sheesh. Fine. Mesdames, messieurs, the maestro will perform. 
At last! <laughs> Let's do this. Happened in years. Your fists, they're glorious. Thanks. I'm gobsmacked, I am. I have to drink it off. Oh, good fight. To speak through, I'm pleased you stripped me of the title. I shall have more time to pursue my chief interest now. Witcher Geralt of Rivia is hereby crowned Fisticuffs Champion of Beauclair. Bravo! <laughs> Behold, your trophy. A life without liquors like loving without licking. Hey there, little lamb. How much for your wool? A lot. And treble for you. Deary, you are to take less from me, haven't you heard? I'm called the sea serpent. Because you're slimy oh, and have but salty. Not all. Good victuals, Russians, suited to a voyage at sea. You've come to the How might I be off surface, sir? Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. It's in your hands, then. 
Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Got these spacious grounds. Hmm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh, useful. Oh, yes! We certainly should! The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorer's table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Good. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else, sir? In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone, professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Then send out for one, please. A high-quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Know what? Changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about redecoration today. But I wanted to ask you something else. I shall be glad to answer your every question, sir. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? I agree. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Stay with me a bit long. You, Jacob? Heal, Mohold. Down. Who asks? A witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Louis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See? Not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you... you could lift the curse! 
bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops, busted Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. Not my business what you believe, either. Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tail of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's Tales and Fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover, colophon included. Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me bore me? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for nights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crud pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now! Swear I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. Blood. Seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willows isolated. No other trees near it. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood, too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm-hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks... wondrous. Did I not say so? Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome love for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why! To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher.
looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Notes on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Spell enhancements or trophies. Arrow broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. Branch off a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest or a bad one. Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? <clears throat> Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? If an I, the witch of Link's Crag would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. Ladies' night, you ever make it here? Sagaras. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not abide it. Refuse to help me, and I'll make you regret it. And force you to. Do you know what really makes my blood boil? Bluster, threats, especially beneath my own roof. Wouldn't need to use either if you'd cooperate. How would I do that, Kiffin? You will soon be dead. Akandal! You have bested me. Tradition ordains I must grant you three wishes, it seems. You know exactly why I'm here. Very well. I will help you. Albeit I pity the lass, not at all. I shall do what I can to break the curse that imprisons her soul in the tree. Hold you to that. Daphne didn't deserve her fate. Tales can be cruel. Now be gone. 
Leave me be. I can tend to the rest alone. Remember the deal we made. I have given you my word. I will keep it. That you. Where the hell's Jacob? Wouldn't abandon the tree of his own free will. Need to find him. Fresh blood and clear, deep prints. Looks like Jacob fled, chased by his dog. Where's your man? Damn it. The ghost from the tree, as promised, failed to add the specter'd be insane, full of pain and rage, possessed the first living creature it ran into, the dog. Dog then killed Jacob. Farewell, chivalrous woodsman. Sorry it ended this way. Life's rarely like a fairy tale. Still, folk have gotta have faith, believe in something. not right.
just wonderful. Ripped to shreds. Deep prints. Blood. Just trying to get away. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, Sir Witcher. Let Piotr keep you in his care.
Sabotaging operations with like this. this. That'll, That'll be interesting. Say who. Mm. Need to keep looking. Could still find out. Thank you. 
neat spawning ground. Should destroy it. I'm catching some. What's this about? Monsters! Monsters there, in the cave! We managed to flee, but Hugo remains inside! Hugo? Our brother! He's still in there, inside! Help us find him! We'll pay you for your toil! You post that notice about an escort? Yes, we did. And not without cause, it seems. We waited some days, yet when none answered, we risked the expedition unaccompanied. Fools we were. We'd have done better to show patience. Wait! Poor Hugo. Left to an unknown fate. Noticed what attacked you? There was no time! We ran for the exit as soon as we felt the earth quiver. But Hugo, well, he went the other way. So, monsters crawl out of the ground? I... Uh, I suppose... In truth, I don't know. We just ran. Did not look back. 
Why do you even go in there? We... lost our way. Hmm. Mistake that cave for the high road? By the hair on my chinny-chin-chin, chin, what difference does it make whether we went in for a stroll or to gather stewards? Hugo remains inside, in grave danger. That's what matters. Will you go in after him or not? Every second could be vital. Fine. I'll look for him. You two stay out here. blood on the blade. Weapon was Hugo's, maybe. Blood trail. Could be Hugo's wounded. Warm and damp. Kikimors prefer cooler environments. Probably why they keep their distance. You, Hugo. Your brother sent me. Ja! Desserts! 
scoundrels, tartmongers. They attacked me, but I fented them off. Now, they sent a brigand to finish the job. What are you talking about? Ran into them outside, claimed monsters attacked. They ran, made it out, but you got stuck inside. They asked me to help you. Is that what they told you? The lying weasels. More trickery on their part, I'm certain. Whoa, slow down. What's this about? Uh, I'm Hugo Monar. My father, Victor Monar, you may have heard of. A cognac distiller he was, famed for it. Before he passed, my brothers and I would quarrel over who would inherit the family business. So father decided he would force us to work together. He broke his still down into its parts. Three of them he hid, telling each of us the location of one. When my brothers learned my part, the last, was hidden in here, they decided they did not need me anymore. They decided to cut me out of the business, literally. We argued, fought. The noise must have woken the beasts. My brothers ran for the mouth, while I ran deeper in. What about the missing part? Find it? No. I know only that it's in this cave, likely at the bottom of a pool. I feel awkward to ask, but as I am wounded, would you be kind and retrieve it? Fine. I can do that. But you must know, I... I cannot pay you well. Figured as much. Start producing cognac, I'll come by for a discount. That, I promise you. Wait here. Water's hot. Get burned if I don't watch it. Could use some protection. Maybe Quen will work. Found the missing part. Really hit that well, your father. Oh, that's fantastic. Your pay. It is not much, I know. But I promise you good prices. The best once the tavern is open again. Hold you to that. Now let's go. Brothers are probably getting antsy. Wait, see there? My brothers! They've rounded up some thugs! They mean to attack me! We don't know that. Would you try to tell me it's a coincidence? That they return with an armed band? They've come for the last part of the still. They won't kill me for it. Please, you may only hope. Kill them, elsewise they'll kill me. Kill your brothers? You want that? Well, perhaps not them, but the other roughs, for certain. As to my brothers, I don't know. You couldn't perhaps render them harmless? Ah, will you defend me? <sighs> don't have much of a choice. Thanks. A thousand thanks. I shall wait here. What are you doing? He's teaching you some decent. Not good. Frick it! 
what they deserved. Maybe they did mean well. I, for one, do not believe it. They were overcome with greed, ready to do anything to wrest the last part of the still from me. Besides, you did not kill them. They will come too, soon, having learnt a valuable lesson, I trust. So what now? Uh, I fear I don't know. I can't possibly hope to rebuild my father's still. I suppose I must hang a shingle in the market, sell wine. Or perhaps I should move on, leave Toussaint. Alas, I know not and will have to see. Whatever the case, I shall not forget your help with my brothers. Time we went our separate ways. Good luck, whatever you decide to do. I thank you, Witcher. Fare thee well.
Here in Bucher, oh. all's right and fair. The light is inopportune at the moment. Could you return around noon? Let us go! Uh, we should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious! Let's go. The things I do for art. We had best ride there. We'll arrive faster and less fatigued. A work of mine! Turtle Dove o' the Heath hangs in the Ducal Palace! So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed, maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tempera. Ah, I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said, and fantastically expensive. Hang on. Got a cat that paints? Yeah. If you care to call it that, he merely copies the works of his betters, and poorly at that. Your cat? Yes. Pierre Auguste Moustachois. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second-rate hack and a thief. We'll continue on foot. Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that I assure you. They're a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for, unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Ah, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything, set it out, ordered and organized. Might have toppled downhill or something. Fine, I'll take a look around. I think it is life that imitates art, and not vice versa. Right, Spilled you are paint. Rachel. 
Breaks to high heavens of turpentine. Oh yes, that nose. He actually had a mage enlarge it after he saw that the Red Courage play. And now... Found your things. Splendid! Where were they? And... Mm, is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. <laughs> Impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect, absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tales. Mm, better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tales. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting witcher. Come on now. This the place? Yes! Just look at the view. Breathtaking! The perfect background for our masterpiece. Mmm. Pretty, I guess. Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering.
All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? Maybe I could just stand, sword in hand? Ah! Splendid! A heroic pose, of course! The bold warrior, his sword held aloft, ready to run at the... Well, that willow over there. I will paint in a griffin later. Shall I begin? Or would you prefer to adopt another pose? <sighs> Go ahead. Now, be so kind as to adopt that look you gave me when I first asked you to work with me. That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes, excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. This gonna take much longer? Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in later. Gods! A Griffin! <laughs> run, and hide. Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death! Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Uh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof, monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid! Hmm, interesting color palette. And the textures, and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. 
And I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Uh, for posterity. <laughs>